Well, good morning. We've had a lovely drop of rain overnight, but as you can see, the sky is blue and the sun is out. This is not the purpose of this video today, but I wanted to just lift these because I want some dinner. These are pink fur lady potatoes. I'm not quite sure if I've put anything up about these in the past, but they're all red and knobbly and waxy and they are the most beautiful flavoured potato you can get. So just cook them whole, then peel them. Fantastic in salads. But as I say, that is not the purpose of this video today. What's this one? This one is especially for Claire the Scribbler. And we're going to talk about poo. That is Claire the Scribbler from across the water in Cardiff, in, in Wales. And you wanted to know the value of horse poo. This is horse poo. And as far as I'm concerned as an allotment here, everything on my allotment is down to poo. So we really like the poo. And we're going to talk specifically about courgettes and, and squashes because that's what Claire was wanting to know about. So this dustbin here is full of horse poo. I've been a very busy boy this morning. I've got piles of the stuff all over the place. If you've got a local stables, they're normally quite happy to deliver it for you free. So I fill that. I'll put about two inches of soil on the top and then I'll put my courgette or pumpkin straight into that. They love it. When they've finished fruiting, what you've got left is a big pile of beautifully rotted horse manure that can go straight into the greenhouse and grow tomatoes in it. So it's multi-purpose. Multi you can use it fresh or you can use it rotted. Now, this year, the stuff that I put in the top of here that I've grown my courgettes in, is, yes, it's horse poo, but there's lots of sawdust in there. And it drains so fast, it hardly ever gets, uh, gets wet. So the courgettes that I've got this year, over here, not very good at all. And I think it's down to the quality of the, um, of the poo. So I don't think this is particularly good poo. We've got some little yellow ones over there, which they're coming on a bit now, but they've, they've been so prolific. I've had about 60 or 80 of these tiny little yellow courgettes, which have been tasting fantastic, but they haven't really grown into anything. We also use the, the dustbin full of poo on here. This has got butternut squash in. There's a little one there. Not quite coming on too far yet. And there's another couple over the other side. And this big pile of foliage here is also concealing a dustbin full of poo. And we've got a little pumpkin coming up there. And that is only there. And for the sake of entertainment, the candle over here. down here and they do run riot when they're grown in the proper stuff but what I'm going to show you now is I can get myself out of here how pumpkins and courgettes really can come to massive proportions oh look I'm going to stop for a snack this is can you see that? That's the first fig of the year. Oh, and it fell off. Oh, I won't be able to talk now. Oh God, that is amazing. Mm. I'm so happy I'm sharing this with you. Walk this way. Please excuse me. My plot neighbour, who doesn't seem to understand what weeding is. And over here, we have a pumpkin that I planted probably March or April. Oh, well that must be ripe. 
I wasn't supposed to do that, but <laughs> all I did was dug a hole about two foot deep, two foot square, filled it full of horse poo, planted straight in the top of it. That's what you get. I did the same with these. And I know I've got one down here. And that is a courgette. So, plant it straight into poo, that's what you get. That's going to keep me and my entire family going for about a month. So, while I'm eating that, you guys have a fantastic weekend. And I'll see you all soon.